What's going on everyone? I'm here with a quick tip to show you how to get NVIDIA Shadowplay running on your 680M GPU. If you have a mobile NVIDIA GPU that is Kepler based, you know that you currently cannot run Shadowplay, but I am happy to let you know that, well, if you have a 680M at least, you can run Shadowplay and it does, um, does the job quite nicely. So it's really simple. Just browse to wherever you have your GeForce application installed, uh, the GeForce Experience application, rather. So the standard location is, oh, let's close that, uh, x86, and then you go to NVIDIA. This keeps happening to me, so <laughs> I have to uh, do a reinstall. But anyway, back on track here, NVIDIA Corporation, and then NVIDIA GeForce Experience. And here you will see the executable. If you right click on it and go to send to desktop create shortcut it'll create a shortcut to the application okay now if you just run this it'll start the GeForce experience application like normal like this but we want it to start Shadowplay so you right click and you say properties and right here under the shortcut tab where it says target go to the end of that hit space do a hyphen and then shadow play and click apply or just OK. Now when you run the shortcut it will start shadow play. The first time you run this it may change the resolution on your screen and do some funky things really quickly but then you can just resize everything back to what you need it to do. The first time you start this up you'll notice the switch will probably be off just switch it on so it'll start like this just click that switch everything should pop up like this for the mode you have shadow and manual it explains what each of those are here long story short manual if you hit alt plus f9 it starts recording and writing so wherever you have this set to write the video it will just keep writing that the shadow this is the functionality i prefer basically um, shadow play will record automatically in the background okay and then whenever you, you know, let's say you knife someone in Battlefield and it was amazing and you want to capture that moment, then you just hit Alt F10 and that will save the last five minutes of recording. You can use the slider to save up to 10 minutes, okay? And it bases the size on the quality that you select for the recording, all right? So I choose high and then I'll probably keep this on about three minutes. That seems to be you know fair enough for the amount of time to capture whatever you want standard is five minutes that's how it comes installed audio in game or off that's pretty much what it looks like it gives you and that's it preferences I recommend doing this show recording indicator this lets you know in the game that this is recording and whenever you save it you'll see a little dot appear that lets you know it's it is saving whenever you hit like alt F10 or whatever so uh, export here. I have uh, an E drive, which is basically an SSD that's dedicated for game recording and stuff like that. So change your location if you want to a dedicated drive to get better performance. And here you can change the combination of the keyboard buttons to toggle manual or shadow recording. And that's pretty much it. Then what you do is you start your game up and you should see that little icon in whatever corner of the screen you selected if you chose to have that display. That does not record in the video. So you only see that watermark while you're recording. It's a visual cue for you. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and end this with some footage of Battlefield 3, which I played to see how it would record. It's pretty decent quality. The audio came out sort of muddy. The quality of this video uh, will ultimately not look as good because I'm having to combine that with this video I'm recording now and then after that renders, then when I upload it to YouTube, it will inevitably um, make the... it has to render it again and uh, yeah, so long story short, it looks definitely decent enough. The audio I might have to work on, but that could be because this is beta software or because we're essentially 
doing a workaround here to get this to work on the mobile GPU. If you have a different mobile GPU uh, that's Kepler and it works for you, go ahead and chime in in the comments and let people know. Um, yeah, so anyway, thanks for watching. I hope this helps. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I will talk to you later. See ya.